I realize that there are probably four reasons why cash is so effective. The first is that people in extreme poverty frequently don't require knowledge. What they require is capital. Take Gene. A traditional program of the sort that I used to run when I worked for the government would have gone in and taught her how to run her business. But Jean already knows how to run her grocery business. She just doesn't have the money for the biscuits, right? In other words, she already knows how to fish. What she doesn't have is the money for the fishing hook. The second reason why cash works is that everybody's different. If you work your way around that village, Jean needs to open a grocery shop. Seraphine wants to get her children into school. Esperance wants to access healthcare. Telefor wants to get a cow so that he can have milk and yogurt to sell. Marie may want to set up a tailoring business. Damascene may want to get a motorbike taxi. In other words, people don't want to learn how to fish. They might want to open a bakery. <laughs> The third reason that cash works is that it's, of course, much more efficient. Right, instead of going in with an international construction company or an NGO building someone's house for them, if you give them the cash, they will work with their neighbors and with local materials to repair and fix their house at a fraction of the cost, and then have money left over for other things. And the final reason why cash works is it trusts people. People are making their own choices on what they want to do with the money, and when people make their own choices. They are then able to sustain and take pride in the investments in a way that isn't possible if somebody else does it for them. So we are now at a moment where I believe unconditional cash transfers could unlock the secret of addressing extreme poverty worldwide.